Hello and welcome here on this modeling channel where we assemble different scale models from plastic and uh, from paper and cardboard in future. Today will be one not very popular but interesting and unusual kit. It's actually not a tank but a, a tank kit or tank kit uh, Bronco production 135 scale plastic and a little bit of uh, metallic details in that box. Uh, only two crewmen might be inside this uh, vehicle. There are many variations, uh, modifications of L33 tanket uh, that you can find in the boxes of Bronco. There are machine gun versions, flamethrower and uh, like this one, anti-tank version. It has 20mm Swiss anti-tank uh, gun which uh, may cause some problems for light armored vehicles. Uh, brown plastic in uh, packages. I love brown plastic details, I don't know why. This vehicle has uh, compact sizes, it's very small. Not so many details in general in this kit, but among them a large number of smaller one. Glasses for headlights, decal sheet uh, for two painting options, and a small plate of photo-etched parts. It's a good tradition for modern uh, models uh, to have a little bit uh, metallic details, but uh, this kit not so freshy, a uh, razor a little bit old kit. Few words about painting schemes. Two colored sand and green desert camouflage allows you to assemble commander's vehicle. Uh, that boxes is a radio and the similar sand brown camo ordinary unit here instead a uh, box with radio we can find uh, spare rollers both machines presented to uh, north africa theater 1941 i will choose sand brown one as uh, on this art short history reference if you want you can pause this video and uh, read it if you're interested in that and last interesting fact about this model before we start work on it, uh, some of modifications of this kit has its own interior. Unfortunately not uh, our kit. Uh, I want it uh, directly anti-tank version, so yes, we have no interior. And ok, let's go! Rare armor plate, traditionally remove all extra plastic using knife or sandpaper and then uh, glue parts uh, one to another. This time I use Tamiya's extra thin glue with a green cap. Powerful but uh, smelly and toxic glue. Well, all glues for uh, plastic models toxic in uh, one form or another. Should note that the level of assembling of this kit is on very good level. Ok, front plate on its place, then rear one and the bulk head. Here can be some gaps, uh, to avoid them I uh, prepared quickly over engine plate and uh, fit this detail uh, on each place. Hedges also on their places, I close them because as I said earlier we have no interior here and in our case no visible engine in this kit. Some smaller details also on their places like jack big uh, towing hooks and even uh, rear and front rollers. Interesting things on the sides of this tankette. Uh, we can see boxes for spare parts or maybe for instruments and it seems they were always uh, very very dusty. Few words about rollers. It is the weak point of this model as I think. They are small and uncomfortable in uh, assembling, uh, bracket system is very inconvenient, rollers don't want to fit on their axis. I just try to glue these old details together in a stripe position and it seems I reached a normal result. Well, uh, truck links much better in this kit than rollers and carriages. Uh, they are semi-separated, so I assembled sections and single trucks in one tape. And before glue totally dries up, I dress our tape uh, around the rollers. <clears throat> it's not very hard process, uh, building of truck links, but you have to be patient, careful and uh, quick in your work. 
in the end I uh, connected rocks together and fix them uh, with a modeling tape and let them to dry up. So this uh, whole process allows us uh, before painting to disassemble all the tapes and uh, to paint them comfortable and uh, uh, separate it uh, from uh, hull and rollers. Ok, now I can move further. Time for upper hull. Uh, there I put later a small amount of modeling putty to avoid some gaps and here in the front part a few metallic details from inbox photo etched parts. Time for weaponry. There are two options for gun masks. I choose with the rivets one because it's more interesting as for me. And time for smaller upgrades. I want to improve our muzzle brake of this barrel. For this objective I will take a small drill and make a few holes in it. Be careful with that, but now it became more realistic. So then I fixed our barrel with a mask on a hull and add smaller details around this detail. Also you can uh, see here a spare rollers on the sides of the tankette. So that means that this tankette wouldn't be a commander's unit, just ordinary one, but uh, in a sand brown camel, which I like. Apply exhausting pipe. Not so many details left, uh, moreover they are almost run out. Uh, hatches for crew. I decided uh, to glue one uh, hatch in a closed position and another one in opened. Yeah, we have here no interior of our vehicle, so it makes sense only if we want to put here some miniature. I have such one Italian tank man from the old Italeri kit. It was uh, Italian light tank M1340 or maybe SPG Zemovent. Looks pretty cool with this feature. Now we can compare the real sizes of uh, this machine and it's even smaller than ordinary cars that you can see on the streets of your city or maybe village. And last one interesting thing that I want to implement in this model. I decided to try to make a crafted sandbags from epoxy. I never done that before. Epoxy I bought in nearest hardware store, where you can find uh, different building stuff. So according to instruction, I connected two parts of epoxy together, mixed them, and then uh, tried to remember my school skills when I crafted some stuff from plasticine. Textures I added with the rack, just putting over our backs. So there was a few attempts before I reached a normal result of our backs. Two speaks I used uh, as uh, sculpting uh, instruments. Additionally, create a few potato backs, maybe for future dioramas or uh, trucks. I don't know. Well, before epoxy dries up completely, I fixed uh, it on. Uh, hull of our tankit, uh, let it dry, and then uh, together paint a whole model with these sandbags. I know that you can find some other recipes of creating sandbags, for example from plasticine and plaster. I think my result not so bad, uh, at least it was a funny process. So today's result, totally assembled Italian anti-tank uh, vehicle from Bronco, interesting, high detailed and in general cool kit, except of uh, the damn rollers and carriages. In the end, uh, let's compare our L-35C with the Soviet late tank, one of the smallest tanks, T-18 or MC-1, that green uh, model was built from Hobby Boss kit. By the way, if you're interested in that, I can post uh, some videos about uh, that model. Ok, and uh, it seems that's all for today, I hope you enjoy. Uh, in one or two weeks will be the final video with this tankette, kit, with the painting process. So goodbye, uh, good luck and thank you, bye!